Hey there, it's Lem at the Toy Temple, and today I'm taking a look at the Lightning Collection Power Rangers Dino Thunder Red Ranger. And I really like Dino Thunder. And of course, collecting all of the Red Rangers I can get my hands on. I think Andros is on the way, so be on the lookout for that one. Uh, of course, the artwork on the box, always immaculate. Really digging the back piece, even though it's a little bit touched up. We'll talk about that white right there here in a second but let's get old red ranger out of the box and continuing my mission not only to explore strange new worlds but to also collect every last red ranger from the lightning collection which so far so good heck i've even got the red ranger uh from the psycho collection so very, very happy that I've been picking them up as I go, because at some point they're going to get rare. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. Because you know what? Forever Red, still one of the coolest episodes of Power Rangers of all time. Uh, so yeah, the main thing I noticed when looking at this thing, they didn't color the morpher. What are you doing? They have pegs, and those interfere with the white diamonds all along the arms why would you do that i it kills me kills me kills it's on the legs and the arms and just paint them white what are you thinking hasbro come on it's not a lot of paint and speaking of the paint they did silver on the visor instead of white what do you come on come on you guys are better than that i might i might change it you know, it's it's supposed to be white. Let's be real. You did it on the Mighty Morphin Red. You're doing it on this. What's your what's your deal, Hasbro? Why are you like this? Who hurt you? The white's a little shoddy on the diamonds, but man, they really... Uh, you couldn't do the Morpher? Come on. Come on. Uh, additional hands. Those do come painted, which is nice. Got the little white spot on them. That's cool. The head... Mine missed the mark a little bit on the eyes. Uh, not great looking. He looks about 55, even though he's supposed to be a teenager with attitude. Poor guy. Uh, flame effect, pretty cool. Fits over the top of the staff and I think provides a pretty cool effect. The staff itself, pretty plain, if I'm being honest. Not particularly, you know, exciting doesn't really do much it's got like a little mouth at the end but there's no articulation to make the mouth like chomp or anything uh it's got a little gold at the tip it's got you know gold triangles on both sides it's not super exciting and then you've got the the little blaster and the little uh i guess what would you call it like a side piece sword those fit okay in the hands they're not the best but like i said they get the job done and will I, will I display him with these? Maybe. How's the gun in the holster? Is that the holster for it? Nope. Yes? No? That doesn't look right. That looks like junk. That doesn't even go in the holster all the way. Unless it's for the sword. Let's try the sword. Okay, that one's a little bit better. That, that one, that one works a little bit better. But, man... Not even a new body mold. And yeah, it's got the, you know, butterfly shoulders, double jointed elbows, the head pivot, you know, looks all the way around 360, ab, you know, diaphragm movement, no ab. Well, okay, there's the crunch. There you are. Crunchitize me, Captain. Uh, legs go out that far. Don't go back at all. Double jointed knees, like I said. Boot cut, of course. Same feet that we've seen on every other Power Ranger, especially the males. Silver on the belt buckle, not too bad. The symbol actually came out really clean. Mine's got like a little dent in what I'm assuming is the mold. They're getting a lot of use out of this guy. I'll be sure. Uh, I'll be seeing this one forever, I think. They just literally have this one mold for the Rangers, and they're not they're not done with it yet. Let's try to put the gun in his hand. It's a, oh, it's a tight fit. I don't know. Maybe I'll display him with the blaster. The, Bracu the staff is... Uh, is okay size wise i don't know am i being too tough on it it's just so hard to 
grip. Like, where do you... Ugh. How do you hold on to it? It's so unpainted, it just... It's like a toothpick. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe sword... Maybe sword and gun. Maybe. There we go. Let's just do that. Unexciting, you know? It's, uh... It's not my favorite release. They missed obviously some paint, but they the diamonds came out relatively clean, but uh, just the mold lines, I don't know. Three out of five. It's not their best release by far, but another Red Ranger to add to the, uh, the Lightning Collection shelf, that's for sure. But three out of five, I think is a very fair score. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you have a particular ranger you collect are you doing red blue pink how many greens are there two two of which are tommy let me know tell me down there in the comments so with that like i said thank you so much for watching and remember you're never too old to enjoy the things you love <laughs>